My name is Jesse Serpan. I own Raw Iron Choppers. We manufacture uh, all kinds of one-off custom motorcycles. We do service work, uh, custom paint, machining, uh, engine work, welding. Welding is the big thing I think that I'm going to really emphasize today is that I'm a graduate in 2009 from Auburn Career Center. I took the welding program for two years there as a junior and senior and uh, the benefits from that welding program were huge for what, what I've used in my company now the last 10 years. Through my company and through welding and everything I've learned in my education, really the, the biggest things for me is uh, about four or five years ago we went on Discovery Channel. We were asked, it wasn't something I, I chased after, it was kind of just sitting around and, and Discovery called me and said, you know, we've hand selected you, would you like to do that? Been on the cover of magazines. Uh, the biggest thing for me to, to get with that kind of stuff is making a name, making a reputation. They came to us because our work spoke for itself and our quality. That's, I think, something I learned the most at Auburn Career Center was learning that, you know, kind of that motivated like work ethic and really pushing yourself. I think that was the, the biggest thing that I learned. And people see that, they respect that. So I did an article for a magazine and they said, who do you look up to? And I said, well, it's Jesse James, Indian Larry. And uh, the third one's the most important one. They're like, and who's that? I said, I think it's the person who's in their garage working. I think the person who gets up every day doesn't live off of motivation through like credentials and what they do and who they know and the money and cars they drive. The people are just happy to get up every morning, you know, and those are the people that, you know, to be successful, I think that's it, you know, and that's a disconnect because everyone sees, you know, all the Hollywood stars and they see this and they're like, that's what I need. I need, you know, I need a Bugatti and I need a Ferrari and I need a half million dollar house or bigger. I know people with that stuff and they're not any happier than people who have nothing. I think sometimes I've seen people with nothing be happier, but like when you learn a trade and like you learn about work and work ethic, like you're proud to get up every morning, even if you're tired and it's definitely hard work, but like that's where it's emphasized the most. If you're afraid to make that jump to, you know, go that sophomore year and, you know, look into an open house or what, what you want to see for a trade. Keep your eyes open and kind of see if you're afraid, I wouldn't be because I think it's scarier when you get out and you graduate and you don't have something you found, whether it's a trade, whether it's you know, education, you, you know, took CCP through another college. I mean, things like that, I think it's scary because I see people in their mid-20s, early 20s, early 30s, and they're like, I'm trying to find myself still. And that's kind of scary. It's not a bad thing, but it's like you should kind of find something now. And at least if it's not that good, it's something in your educational toolbox I tell people is you should have something there. If you learn welding, learn machining, you learn IT, web design, whatever it may be, you kind of can't unlearn that once you've learned it. So it's like, why not have that in your toolbox? And if it's not for you, find something else. But at least those two years were good. It looks good even on a resume. You went and got some education. And really, I mean, it, it's it's paid for publicly. So why not go? You know, I mean, what you have to do, do it. I got to Auburn. That kind of made me realize, like, I talked to people who were traveling on the road, you know, real welders, pipe welders. Like, wow, this is what it is. So I kind of went from, like, kid mode to, like, this is what it takes. This is, these are the people I need to be around. So I started, I guess, rewiring my brain to kind of think more like an adult, even though I was a kid. And I, I wanted to motivate myself to be closer to that experience level. And I asked a ton of questions. Ready, go.